gonna pull up over here to the shop since I ain't been here in a while. And um, the reason why I don't be coming up here is. What is wheels and gels? We back at it again with another lit video, you guys. So today, uh, we're gonna be getting this Malibu boo ready. I sold the maroon one. I got what I asked for. It. Um, I sold the truck. Um, so now it's time to get this one ready and I'm waiting for that Camaro. Today, I could be bidding on some Copart cars, but I think I'm gonna take a little break from Copart. I'm not gonna say I'm gonna stop buying from Copart. I'm just gonna take a little break. I'm gonna take it easy because them cars, the money I've been spending on these cars is a little high up. And I mean, I'm making good profit, but you know like with a lot of the cheaper cars i can make a little bit of the same profit or close to the same or even more you know without even spending that much money so i'm over here doing experimental things so just to let y'all know and yes guys i do change my mind a lot i do i mean i, I know i know my different flaws because look i'll be into something one thing and they're like nah i don't like this i want to do this i'll be into it like nah i don't really want it. nah i don't want it. nah i'm good you know, I do that with my cars. I do that with different different shit that I want to buy, different shit I want to get into. I do that different shit. I switch up the way how I do my business. All I'm just, I'm like that in my damn mind. So I'd be like, shit, I want to do this. And uh, but I'm not, I'm not the type that's indecisive. I just, I like to reinvent all the time, you know? It's the same thing when I came out here, when I came out here, when I moved out here, I'm good with ingesting, you know? Like, I know how to change my environment. I'm just good at doing that. Like, I could be like, move to a whole new state, start fresh. I do that shit all the time. Start like, I like to sell all my cars and start fresh and then come up with a whole new game plan of how I buy my cars or or, or how I like to sell my cars. Like, I, I reinvent myself every time. And which I think is a good thing y'all guys should start doing too. Reinventing, man. Don't be scared to change up. Don't change, don't be scared to move out and change up your environment. A lot of y'all have been stuck in the same environment. Some people ain't even left their city, let alone they block. Or let alone, you know, uh, out of state. A lot of people ain't even moved out of city. A lot of people ain't even left their block. Yeah, I gotta clean all this. This shit gotta be power washed. I'm sorry, y'all. I know a lot of y'all don't like me power washing my car. But, uh, I don't even know who calling me right now. I'm never gonna but, uh, yeah. But, um, put my phone on so I won't have no interruptions. But I'm gonna go ahead and clean this engine, this motor down. Uh, I spray some. I need this shit off, man. This shit will not come off. That mud is one hard thing to get off. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean the engine. I'm gonna go. Uh, <laughs> see what I'm gonna do is, I still didn't fix this. I didn't replace this. So me and Up was talking. These cars, is this shit fucked up? All right. So these cars, I know like I throw the Savage Yard. Our Savage Yards in Oklahoma ain't like y'all Savage Yards in, in Atlanta and fucking Dallas and all the other big bigger cities. Our, our fucking LKQs and Savage Yards are all, are all at the, are all at the, um, these cars are not up there and there is one, they might be one of these cars up there. Everything is going to be gone off of it quick. So, and then if you go to another Savage Yard, like the people that, where they pull it off and you can't walk back in and pull it off yourself, they're, they're charging top dollar anyways for so. There's no getting out of getting these cheap. I mean, you could probably find someone on Marketplace that got, they, you know, got one in their backyard, they parting it out, but most likely you're not gonna be finding these parts cheap like that, it's just not. So what I'm gonna do since they, they like, they painted this whole car, but they left a lot of that, that, that white stuff, that powder stuff. And uh, 
Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I guess that's from when they waxed this car or whatever, or wet sand. I don't know. Or when they sanded the car down, they left a lot of shit on the side. I'm gonna go ahead and take the power washer and go through it. And then uh, I'm gonna head over here and just go through the drive-through car wash to get it extra clean. Uh, but I'm gonna try to do my best to get this clean and, and sell it and let this car go. I should have never, I pay, first I paid too much for it. Then on top of that, I paid too much to get it fixed. So I'm like, yeah, I'm like, this is one of the situations I'm trying to get myself out of, just to be real with y'all. And I wish I, you know, I wish I would have paid less for it. I paid less for the other one. I had actually less money in the other one, the other one's nicer. The paint, they didn't do too much of a good job. They did, they did all right, but they didn't, you know, still, I was better off leaving it alone, to be honest with y'all. I'm just gonna put it like that. Paying that much money to have this shit, like, I mean, you can still see the flaws and the pain. And, yeah, never get no, but hey, you live and learn and you gotta learn your lesson and keep it pushing, man. That's all I can say, man. You can't be complaining and crying and whining and bitching. You just gotta move forward with life, man. You can't sit there and dwell on the past and what you coulda, woulda, shoulda did. Fuck that. So I'm not the type to just be like, oh, this didn't work out. I'm not, no, 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 no. I'm a real man. We're gonna keep pushing on and we're gonna keep fighting. And uh, the grind does not stop. Let's get it. So I got them all cleaned up, man. So I ended up deciding, I, don't need, I didn't have no chance, so I put $5 in there, and so I had some time, so I used the brush. And I think I, got, I scrubbed the rims and got everything pretty clean. Uh, so what I'm about to do is hop up in this car. And take off. I think I'll take pictures of this thing, man. Y'all know me, man. Uh, I ain't been by, you know what I was just thinking? I ain't been by the shop in a minute. So let me hop over here and go to the shop real quick. Oh, I am gonna be fixing that blinker. I'm gonna fix the light, but not in this video. Before I sell it, I'll put a bulb in there. But I'm not changing that. And no, I'm not being cheap. If y'all know how much, man, fuck that. I'm gonna tell y'all how much. They, I paid 2,500 to get this car fixed. So y'all y'all could dismiss me with, uh would dismiss me with, uh, man, lucky start being cheap. Man, I paid 2,500 to get this car fixed and it's still not perfect. So that's why I said, y'all need to watch out with what y'all invest on. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, I'm learning, I'm learning too, man. Like I'm trying to elevate, but I kind of, it's cool sometimes to be in your comfort zone, but at the same time, not depending on what. If something's working for you and you winning, Man, you better just fucking keep keep doing your goddamn thing. Don't change up shit. Not as long as it's still working. If it ain't broken, don't fix it. But anyways, man, we're gonna pull up over here to the shop since I ain't been here in a while. And um, the reason why I don't be coming up here is I'll wait till I get up there to tell y'all. Let's get it. So I just pulled up to the shop. <clears throat> But before I do any of that, let me get this damn tire. Tire stuff on these damn tires. See, that shit's still brown, see? Get that wet, wet on them. And plus, I know this car is a good car. I was driving this car as a daily for a minute. Oh, let me calm that shit down a little bit. Let's turn it down a little bit. This guy off the phone with Unc, he just bought a 1940, a 1940 Chevy. I don't know what kind of truck, I don't know what kind of, uh, nah, it's not a truck, it's an old ass car, it's a 1940 Chevy. I don't know what kind is it though, but it looked custom. 
I told him I think he did a good job on it. Get that wet wet to sit on there for a little bit. While I chill at the office. And then I'm gonna go take my little pictures. Wet wet tires, man. They got eczema. Hold on. Them ashy ass tires. I need some damn lotion on them bitches. Oh man, let me put this up one time. So there y'all have it, man. I'm back at the, the shop. I'll grab the key, man. It don't look like none of my business partners is up here, man. We over here at Dollar in the Dream, man. Auto sales, man. So the reason why y'all don't see me up here like that, let me grab my key. Unlock it. I ain't been up here. Uh, I be coming here off and on when I'm selling cars or whatever, but that's about it. So I do everything on appointments only. I don't be sitting around. I'm not. Y'all should know me, man. Y'all know. Y'all shout out to the real Lucky Nation, man. I mean, hold on. I think I got something on the lens. Shout out to the real Lucky Nation. Y'all know how it is, man. I'm not the type to stay in one spot at all. I be here, there, everywhere. Yeah, what the hell they got up in here? I ain't been in a minute, but yeah, here go the office. This case for the new subscribers. Yes, I got my dealer license. Yeah, this is the the shop, the lot, the office, whatever you call it. Let me show y'all back here. So we got a few cars back here. None of these cars are mine, so I got the Camaro. I only got two cars, y'all. So I, you know, I went from selling thirty cars to selling probably five cars a month or whatever so you know i ain't selling a whole bunch like i used to but i'm making about the same amount of money because i'm trying to invest more and have less inventory if y'all know if y'all get what i'm saying so got that malibu and the camaro that's at the shop that's all i got right now that's for sale that's i mean well that, i only got that car so i've been selling i sold the truck and sold the malibu but this is what my partners got um shit it's five of us up here so Hey, we just trying to keep the cost down and the, and the profit coming. So, you know, I got four other business partners. I don't know who cars is whose, but uh, man, if y'all want any of these cars, man, I can most definitely find out who cars whose. You know, I'm always trying to help my partners out sell their shit too. So, y'all see anything y'all guys will like or want to buy up here? Still didn't move that Monte Carlo, man. I had to buy it and fix it up now. Nah. I'm actually, guys, I, I decided that I am going to probably get me a Monte Carlo also. But I want an SS, and it has to be a 19... I want a 1987 SS. I want a 1987 SS T-top car. I prefer... Man, it really don't matter what car, but I really would like a gray one, I think. I want the gray factory ones. And then with the, like, the gray in... I think with the gray interior. I think they got the one with the gray interior thing so I'll, if i'll get one like that so y'all keep an eye out on for me jj and his brother they start in there well i guess this is their first one they're gonna get another one after this one but if y'all ain't watch jj's cars and advice he is also going into the trucking business he's gonna put this bad boy on the road dang they got brand new tires they put some money on this in this vehicle cleaned it all up let me show y'all and this is actually my first time seeing it, but they painted it all up. They cleaned it all up. You can tell they, they took it to the mechanic, got it all fixed up. So they put they they put some money on this and this. And they're gonna be getting into the trucking business. So man, shout out to them. Always trying to invest and always business minded. That's why I fuck with them. I've been fucking with them over I don't know how many years now. I remember when I first when when they was my competition, that's crazy. And then they got me on their team. I'm like, man, I don't feel like I just didn't want the damn car lot business. I know I said it in past videos, but you know, I was holding it down for over five years solo at my car lot. And I was, Melly was selling all of them. I was buying all the cars, and my homie James was fixing my mechanic, my crazy boy mechanic. Shout out to James, man. 
I'm so cool with him, man. But shit, me and him been through a lot together. And uh, shit, I remember he used to fix all, he used to fix everything, man. He's the fucking best mechanic that I know of. You know what I mean? I wish I could still have him work on my shit. I might still be having him work on my personal shit. I'm still got, I'm, I'm gonna call him when I get off of here. But uh, he'd be so damn busy, but he did hit me up recently. So shout out to him, he probably watching, man. Shout out to you. And um, what else I was gonna say? Yeah, man, I was selling, man. Well, Melly was selling and I was selling over 30 cars, between 25 and 30 cars, no less than 25 every fucking month, at least for fucking four years straight. And then one day I just got up like, man, I'm tired of this shit. So I paid off my Corvette. I paid off my house. I said it in a future video. It sounds like I'm repeating myself. I hate repeating myself. I like to say shit one time. And if y'all don't see it, oh, well. But anyways, I'm going to tell y'all just because I feel like it. So, so I got out of it. I try to, I try to retire. I was like, man, fuck the car business. But I made so much money on it. I'm so, I'm so good at it. What I do. So I'm like, so I'm like this, y'all. I'm like, I'm like, man. I was like, man, I'm just gonna sell one car, two cars. Man, I did that shit, buying them all uh, on marketplace, you know, um, you know, dibbling, dabbling here and there. Everything was paid off, so I didn't have to work. That's what I wanted to do. I was like, well, I did, I grind so hard, so now it's time to take it easy. But knowing me, the grind don't fucking stop. I do not know how to take it fucking easy. I'm gonna keep going till I collapse. And so, you know, so I learned now. Since my body went, my body broke down on me and said, no, you can't do shit. So I already went through all that. So I'm not going to never keep pushing myself too much. You know, I'm a, the grind don't stop, but I have to know when, okay. Look, you 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 made it. Like Unc told me, Unc, you made it, Luck. You don't have to keep getting out there and doing the shit that you're doing. And I be telling him too, like, man, shit, your house is paid off. You got money in the bank. You don't have to do this shit. I could take fucking, I could not make a fucking videos on YouTube. I can stop making videos on YouTube. I can, um, and I could fucking, honestly, I could take a whole year off and, and it won't hurt me. You know what I mean? I could take a whole year off of YouTube. I could take a whole year off of not selling a car. I could just fucking just lay around all goddamn day and play fucking video games and eat fruitless if I wanted to. But it, that's not in my blood, so. I'm a hustler, I'm always gonna grind. And I, I love I love what I do, man. You always gotta love what you do where it never feels like work. But shout out to my partners. And that's why I don't never be up here because I don't have no cars up here to even sell. But um So I do have what four of the business partners in this business. And I got, you know, I don't I don't record everything that I do like other businesses that's not a part of YouTube, that's not a part of the car shit. And it's legal. I know a lot of y'all be saying illegal shit. I don't know shit about nothing illegal at all. I promise y'all. Never did, never did. You know, before I was in a car, man, I've been in the car business so long. Shit. Before that, my other business was a, uh, was a, uh, a cleaning business, man. I used to clean out fucking offices. You know, and then I work my way up and start having employees. You know, I have these two girls that you clean up. And they did a good job, so. You know what I mean? Lock him up. But. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna get better. It looked like it cleaned up pretty good after I wiped it down. I needed probably some buffing or whatever the case is, but. I'm gonna go ahead and get a picture in, but yeah, I just wanted to show y'all. Let me see these tires, how they look. Are they gonna splatter everywhere? They look all right. They, they, man, they soaking up the thing, man. But yeah, man, let me get over here to this, to my spot where I like to take my damn pictures at, man. I gotta make this money. But I'm trying to not sell so many cars at one time, man. You know, I'm trying to sell a few enough why I don't have to overwork myself, cause man, when you dealing with a lot of two multiple cars, like yeah, I can fucking, I could fucking just right now buy up thirty cars or twenty cars and place them all over here. But for what? Because you lose track of what you bought. The market goes up and down so much. So the shit that you bought a month ago, by the time you like thirty cars, like how long is it gonna take me to get you know to those cars? 
You know what I mean? So over like like over a month, 30 days, the market didn't change on you. That same car that you bought like this Malibu. Now I gotta try to sell that's a clean ass Camaro. I still love those Camaro body styles the best. Like the the uh, fifth gen, I'll be everywhere. My damn mind just be running. But anyway, so I like yeah, I like those fifth gen. Like I be man, I want. I mean, I want everything. I want it all. <laughs> Brand new socks and drawers. <laughs> but um, I, mean, I forgot what I was saying. But yeah, man. I, then the market goes up and down so much. So like this car, like I was saying. The, I could buy this car. I looked on the market. I'll be reading the comments. Someone said you could buy these cars for like eight to ten. Clean title in Dallas. That's three hours away from here. Thank God I, the, the girl that I sold that other one for thirteen thousand for that Malibu. She didn't look online. I mean that that one was clean though. It was better than the one, but she she could have drove to Dallas and got her one for like eight. Fuck, I could have fucking went to Dallas. I might still go to Dallas. That's why I'm taking a break on Cold Park. Like, because, man, like, the market be so fucked up. It got to be a super good deal. To, like, on a fucking car, you pay 6000 for this or 7000 for this. You pay 8082 plus the fees. So, y'all imagine, man. They're having too much. The market changed so goddamn much. You're like, damn, these cars were selling for 15000 Now they selling for 10000 Like, like it does the flip flop so just let y'all know when y'all want to get in this business man it's one of those business man um this business can make you or break you you gotta be tough if you, a lot of y'all guys already know because y'all in the business already a lot of y'all people are trying to get into it a lot of y'all people just started you know what i mean so shout out to everyone that i could motivate and uh i'm just trying to be positive and uplift lift a lot of people and let y'all know y'all can do more than negative shit to make money yeah, you know you can do more shit than just sell cars like man, you take what i do and put it into something that you are into and then you'll be successful you know if you're not already successful hopefully y'all guys are already successful hey y'all fucking pass i went hey i went too damn far <laughs> i went too damn far talking this shit but uh, anyways, guys, man, enough of me talking. I like to give y'all game every now and then when I feel the urge and uh, when I'm in the talking mood. But, man, we got a lot of shit going. This might be a long video. I don't know. Should I end this video and restart it? Nah, because I got to link up with Unc. I got to go pick up this trailer. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm supposed to meet up with uh, one of my subscribers. Shout out to Tree. I'm supposed to link up with him, me and Unc. I'm not sure if Unc going to stop working to go out there. But I know Unc wanted to uh, hang out with him and uh take them out to eat or whatever you know that's how we do when uh lucky nation real lucky nation come up and show support and stay down and stay loyal and uh i mean that's just what we do man i'm a real one out here man i hey you hey if you met me and you and you fucks with me and i can tell you fucks with me you already know i i get my number out I, you, man you can ask motherfucker man i'm just not the type that, that has nothing to prove i don't have shit to prove I don't have nothing to I don't have to I don't have to explain myself. I'm not the type that gonna explain myself. A real man ain't gonna explain himself to another man. A real man is not gonna explain himself to to someone that don't have shit to do with the situation. I'm not gonna explain shit. I'm not gonna explain myself. Sir, you got to explain yourself. Shit. Let somebody let another man get in your face and tell you to explain yourself and you tell me how you feel about it. You're gonna have to explain yourself, sir! But it, <laughs> oh shit, I couldn't even say this shit with a straight face. But anyway, guys, man, I'll see y'all when I get over there to the location. Let's get it. Here we go. I'm gonna walk around. So me noticing after I washed it, the paint did come out pretty clean. What I'm probably gonna do is maybe if if I don't sell it today, maybe later on in the afternoon when it gets cool, I'm gonna spray wax this whole car, wipe it all down, you know, to see how good it turned out and how poor paint job it is but try to shine it up some or whatever so that's what i'm gonna end up doing but how much y'all think i could get for this car man like i don't know how much y'all think i can get man i might have to break even on this car to keep it 100 which uh i might be losing i might have to break even but hey but i'll live to fight another day i mean that's the name of the game though you win some you lose some 
you gotta know when to hold them you gotta know when to let go <laughs> so that's the name of the game but let me go ahead and use this remote start one time no check engine lights on no lights on the dash they got 51,000 miles on it you got any mile cleaned up <coughs> I vacuumed them out earlier. Let me show y'all. No cracks on the dash. None of that. You know what I mean? AC blow ice cold, baby. Blow ice cold. Cool that off so I get ready to dip out. You know, I probably could have did the floor mats, clean them up, but the next owner could do all that. Y'all let me know if y'all interested, man. Hit me up on Facebook, Lucky Luciano on Facebook, or Lucky with the Dudes on, on Facebook. Hit the join, join the join the Facebook group on Lucky Wills and Dills and join the, the like me page or the follow me page on Lucky Wills and Dills on Facebook. So I got like three pages on Facebook. Uh the group page, that's for the Lucky Nation. So man, if y'all guys want to post any of y'all guys' cars or share any of y'all guys' videos, man. Go ahead, man. Y'all more than welcome. Y'all upcoming YouTubers, go ahead and post your car content. Not no selling shoes and selling merch. Like some of y'all, yeah, some of y'all be getting banned. And, hey, sorry to say it, but there's a lot of people that be commenting. But if y'all say anything negative, y'all, I'm not even gonna say negative. Y'all say anything I don't like in the comments. I always, always, I've been doing this since day one. I would delete and block your ass. I'm just saying that for the record. I always. I always have done that, you know. So if y'all guys get blocked, then I don't, I don't even know about this. No you say anything slick or any, you say anything I don't like. It's my channel, and I'm gonna run it how I want to. So fuck. Oh, so yeah, you know. But a lot of people don't really, I don't really usually have a phone. But when, when some people just come to my channel, don't know who I am, and just start hating. First time seeing a video say something slick or something stupid or some shit I don't like, I'll go to your channel, block, go back to the video, delete. I do that shit all day. And I'll be laughing when I do it. So I'll be like, delete. You fuck that same thing when I be on live. When my folks, when the Lucky Nation put y'all motherfuckers on timeout, I'll be laughing. Like, God damn, what you do now? Put, put y'all on timeout like little kids and shit. Get in that corner, so. Hey, they put that shit on there for a reason, right? But um, anyways, with that being said, I don't know what I'm gonna get myself into today. I know I'm supposed to do the walk around at the Oklahoma Auto Exchange because I plan on buying some shit up there tomorrow. Today, Copart going on right now. It's 12.49, Copart started at 12, so I didn't see nothing I wanted, and I'm gonna try to stay away from Copart for now because uh, I've been making money on Copart, but it looked like I'm about to probably lose on this car, this Malibu and the and the Camaro. So I'm gonna take it easy. I'm gonna try to buy some good cars that's already clean title and already ready to go. Since I do have dealer license, right? Like I don't have to be buying a Copart, but Copart sometimes you win. But right now with the pandem pandemic and all this inflation on cars and everything, like it's just not the it's not the place or the time or or whatever. Plus, honestly, think hope our customer service sucks. I'm just saying. I'm just, I hate talking shit, but I, sometimes I can't keep my mouth shut. But anyways, guys, man, we on to the next. I'll probably be, next time y'all probably see me when I get back up in here is with Unk. I'm supposed to go help me go get this trailer later on, like a full-size car trailer. So I'm excited about that, buddy. But if not, hopefully that shit go through. So I think probably like in a few hours, I'm supposed to link up with him. So. Hopefully that shit works. So I think I'm about to go home and cool off for a minute. See, that's the good thing about, you know, appointments, man. You be on your own schedule. Being a boss, you on your own schedule. You know what I mean? You don't have to worry about another man telling you when to be here, when to be there, man. Hey, if, shout out to everyone that got the nine to fives. But if you can get out of that situation, it's very lovely. But shout out to everyone that got the nine to fives. And, you know, everyone's, I know that everyone's not business minded. You know what I mean? So, shout out to them though, man. Hey, as long as you grind hard and making your money and providing for your family, that's all. That's it, man. As long as you, hey, long as you ain't sitting around not doing shit, eating Fruit Loops all goddamn day. If you're working for someone, shout out to you. If you got your own business, shout out to you. 
if you get in paper, shout out to you, but if you, man, you, you're falling off, if you're just laying around, then uh, I don't know what to tell you, man. You gotta get on your grind. You know what I mean? Get on your grind, trying to motivate you. Get off your ass and get to it. But with that being said, man, we on to the next. Let's get it. So we pulled up over here to the car lot. We're, we over here at Brothers Motors and Sales. Cool guys over here. But I also sell cars. I'm about to go pick up this uh, Dolly. See them over there painting. I'm about to go pick up this Dolly. Well, not Dolly, a car trailer. It's way back over there. I came, me and Unc came over here yesterday. Fortunately, Unc couldn't come with me because he bought that 1940 Chevy uh, sedan. What up, what up, what up, man? We on there, man. It's time, it's your time to shine, man. <laughs> What's going on, man? Good, good, man. I know you got time for me. Maybe yeah. Come, you came to get that trailer. Yeah, yeah. He already left. I right, can you hit the music. Huh? You said what? How many cars you got? I just got three. I got the Silverado. Well, you ain't got money like that. Yeah, I spend it all. <laughs> I spend it all, man. I don't got money like that. You gotta tell him. I don't got money like that. Got money like that. <laughs> huh? Yeah, yeah. I just got it uh, the day before I bought my uh, Seville. Do I had it for a week? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I got you. You said what? Yep. Yeah. Some beats. You already know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. You know, I wanted the push start. I wanted the sunroof. I wanted the six two, and I wanted the uh, keyless entry. Uh -huh. So that's just the shit that I wanted on it. Yeah. Damn, Monty already gone. Who was here? Who was the co-partner for some parcel? Oh, bro. Oh. What well, they did? Did they move everything out the way if I could pick it up or no? Yeah. That one right there. Which one? That one? That's the one you get through? That gray one, yeah. I need that, man, if I can move my Chevelle around. My shit is between the, is between the car lot and junk. And junk and car lot, huh? No, we, you know, we keep it raw and uncut, man. Hey, what's up with this shit? Is it going to be able to come out? Yeah. Going here? Right, good. Right, got, I got so many goddamn cars, man. This is a cool little trailer, though. Come with a bat, man, just in case you need a Hell fuck. yeah. I hope this shit works. Yeah, this motherfucker right here is clean. You painted silver. You have your Chevelle in here. Yeah. Looking good. You want to repaint it for me? Everywhere. You want to repaint it for me? It would look clean. Yeah, every time you want. Sure. Send the shit out of it. You yeah. know what? You know somebody that do sandblast? Uh-uh. Find somebody that it for you. Then sandblast. bring it back. Uh-huh. And then we paint it. Oh, okay. So that way everything be off, you know? What is this, uh... Huh? Okay. Where Uncle at? Shit, on, he on a mission. He about to get ready to fucking uh, leave town because he just bought a uh, from Copart 1940 Chevy sedan. Yeah, he all in, in El Amarillo. Uh, he Hell yeah, he love him. Man. Do you think we can move it or you want to drag this shit out the way? How you move this out the way? With the chain, I don't know. I might be able to pull it out. I don't even know if this motor is good. Mm. Might be able to. I mean, I think you can fit right here. If you're good, you I know you said out. he had a, a thing with it. Uh, um, 
What's that shit called? A a, a winch. That goes with the trailer or to pull it over? No, we go with the trailer. Mm, I don't know. I think we do safety that. Oh, okay. He does. That fool got a bunch of shit. Yeah. 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 So you might have to call him for me real quick. Alright y'all. I'll get right back to y'all when we get this uh, oh, thing on the on the truck. We're gonna do a little reverse man because uh this damn uh <clears throat> man, that's like cutting my throat. This damn uh um, winch is kinda heavy so I'll put this thing up in. That good enough for you? Good enough for you, man? Uh, good enough for you? The truck? Hell yeah, it's badass, I man. I mean, I'm talking about lifting, lifting that. <laughs> here, man, you move it from here. Yeah, I don't want to mess anything up. Oh, right, you got it? And he's going to be on me. And dropped it by like five, ten times. <laughs> you want to on There's no screws for that. No, nah, not this one. There was no screws. Uh -oh. There's some of these motherfuckers that uh -oh. got that crazy tailgate on, huh? Oh, the lift up? I don't know. The, you know, like, do like, you all holding in the. Oh, that's the, uh. That's the GMC's, yeah. That's the GMC's. Yo. That's the GMC's. I don't need all that fancy stuff, man. I ain't doing that kind of work. I just, I'm just hauling stuff and, and driving it as a comfortable car. I'm going to back it in over there. You want to back it in over there? Hey, guys. Out here working, man. It's like I can never get no rest, man. I still gotta go meet the homie tree over there to been doing all this running around. It's hot. Well, it's up some his AC. I gotta go go meet him at the Arch. And I don't think Unc, I doubt, I highly doubt Unc gonna meet me over there. He on a mission changing his oil and trying to get his car ready. That shit's making shit look close. When well, it's really not that close, but it looks like it's closer to him. Trailer up, man. Need it. Cashing out. Cash money. Gotta cash out, man. It's an investment, y'all. I got a full size trailer. I'm putting this truck to work. I'm getting my money to work. Show. All right, guys, let me put this camera down and let me focus on make sure I don't run into that engine that's sitting in the middle of the ground. So, guys, I finally got my trailer. It's not a million dollar trailer, but shit, it's going to get the job done. You know what I mean? It's going to make my job easier. Now I got to order some straps. Order me some straps, so I should be straight. I should be good. You know what I mean? Got all type of bugs flying around. I should be straight, I should be good. You know what I'm saying? Tires are straight on it. Some good sheet, uh, good deal. Got it for a good price. I'm happy with it. But guess what, Unc want to use it. Didn't even get to use it yet. Unc want to already use it to go to Amarillo to go pick up his old school. I'm like shit, I can't even bring it home. I think he said he wants it. I'm gonna call him to see if he wants me to drop it off at his house. Oh, you need you. Oh yeah, guys, I'll holler at y'all in a little bit. I'll probably show y'all. I'll either pull up at Unks. I'm gonna call Unks see if he wants me to drop this off at his house, and he can have fun and play around with it and see what they do. If not. I'll take it, I'll bring it. I'm taking this shit home. Bring them home, man. But um, anyways, guys, man, I'll holler at y'all when I get to my next destination. Let's get it. So what I'm about to do right now, y'all just y'all done dropping the trailer off 
at my house. Unk, I guess Unk did not need it. Needed the. Uh, Unk did not need to use it. I guess he gonna use it. His homies or whatever. His friends. So I was like, cool. So I parked my shit in my backyard. You know what I'm saying? So, anyways, with that being said. Turn this bad boy off, man. Let's get to it, man. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. And y'all see, I'm over here at Oklahoma Auto Exchange, where I always like to come, but I'm not gonna do my walk around in this video. Uh, but I do got a special guest from the Lucky Nation. The homie Tree is up in the house. Uh, yes, What's going on, man? Yeah, oh, shit. Good. Hell yeah, man. Just yeah, wanted yeah. to shout you out on this video before I end this video. Yeah. Like, you know how I do my videos. I do my daily vlog, and then I do this shit separate. I just want to throw you up in oh, here yeah. for they can know who gonna be my cameraman for the next video, y'all. So y'all yeah, tune yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, I got my man Lucky back, Lucky yeah. Nation. Hell building, yeah, baby. hell yeah, all the yeah. way from the D. Yeah, he yeah. He came out here representing. Oh yeah, had to come holler at my man. You hell yeah, you want to say anything before I end this video out? I know oh, you just man. got on the scene, but. <laughs> hey, just man, feels good to be here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Feels good to holler at my man. I already had a chance to meet. Yeah, him yeah, that's yeah, yeah. I ain't you know dropped. I'm actually gonna drop that video later on today. So okay, that's you'll see you on there. Yeah, <laughs> yo, let me see me on the big screen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Awesome, yeah. Well, y'all see it, man. Y'all heard it, man. So y'all stay tuned and watch the next video. It's gonna be a lit video. I got my cameraman. It's out as hell. I'm burnt out, but y'all know everything I've been through. So I'm about to go ahead and get it, man. So shout out to the whole Lucky Nation. But just like that, this video is over. Make sure you guys like, share, comment, subscribe. That car so damn loud, and I'm out. Yay! I Circles until the time flies. Yeah, I'm the winner like hey, hey. Cuss, cuss, right on the hood of the scraper. Like